Anybody not ready? Okay, so this is announcement day. If you are listening to this right now, because I know that you guys care, film yourselves for me because I would love to have the reactions. Okay, please okay. do that for me. Amy Black is the publisher of Double Day Canada and the vice president of Penguin Random House Canada. Okay. Amy, would you like to help me with the announcement? I would be delighted to. I'm just thrilled to be able to tell you that we are publishing Roz Weston's memoir. <gasps> Whoa. What? <laughs> it's true. Yeah? And it's called A Little Bit Broken. And the book's going to be released on September the 27th of this year. No Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, he's coming over here to hug me. Hold on a second, Amy. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm so happy. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I love you, buddy. Okay. I want to read you something. I sort of piece something together just so you guys get a sense of what the hell this is. So here it goes. It never gets better, but it does get easier. That's the first thing I say to anyone who ever asks me for advice, anyone who's fighting like hell or hanging on or putting the pieces back together. It never gets better, but it does get easier because I should know. Grief, anxiety, self-doubt, self-harm, drowning the parts that hurt and burning the parts that don't, shame, regret, and insecurity, it gets easier. But when normal seems unattainable, broken is all you feel. Right here on this show, we built an audience and turned it into a family. But like with most families, there's just some shit we don't talk about. When you love your life but are terrified of your past, when you love your laugh but you hate your body, when you're broken, fixed becomes an obsession. This is me finding the answers to the questions that I was too afraid to ask. This is my story. From growing up in a small town to getting lost, drunk, and terrified in New York, from finding comfort in the arms and beds of strangers to kicking an opioid addiction I didn't know I had. From broken bones, broken hearts, to a broken marriage, to navigating the grief and guilt after my dad died. It's about survival, becoming a dad, and learning to cry again. But this is also for you, the late bloomers and the others. For anyone who still thinks they're too far gone or beyond repair, anybody who has ever felt broken or ruined or too ashamed to admit to or face the hurt, because their current place in the world just seems too goddamn good to complain about anything. That's us. We hide it, we deny it, and we carry on. We're the same, but it's nothing we can't fix. 